Hi friends, you are heartily welcomed at IPR Aware World. Today we are going to introduce with one more prominent researcher at IIT Bombay. He is Mr. Asif Khan Sanwaz. He is doing his PhD in Biomedical Engineering. During his PhD, he has also filed two patent in 2011. He also has a good knowledge about intellectual property rights. During that research work, he has gone through so many innovative process inventions. So I am going to introduce you with our today's guest. Whatever experience you have in IPR, mm -hmm. like patent filing, patent granting, mm -hmm. uh, with your research work, mm -hmm. your uh, innovative work that you have find that it will be inventive and it will be uh, capable to being a patent or uh, for filing a patent. Mm -hmm. So we would like to ask your uh, all uh, experience in mm -hmm. this uh, IPR domain. Yeah. Basically, before uh, coming to IIT Bombay, I had no idea about what is IPR or what is actually patent. I've heard the name patent, but I was not really sure what exactly it is. But once I reached here, uh, I, I started working on my project and the project seemed viable for uh, you know patenting. It was a good idea and which can later be commercialized. So, um, uh, my professor Rohit Srivastava, he uh, you know, uh, initiated the patent work for this particular uh, project and uh, this work um, you know this work was actually split into two uh, uh, projects uh, basically the the initial work was uh, the basic idea of this patent and the next work was an extension of this particular idea the why I say the whole thing is because uh, you know it it helped me in uh, patenting a uh, uh, idea which was already in the process of you know uh, concept of proof proof of concept they call it as so the later idea was just an idea I mean the later one the pro patent which was just an extension of the existing proof of concept so uh, I came to know that even patenting an idea which was which is still in the initial stage which is which which has not been you know gone through vigorous stages of experimenting uh, still can be patented so I came to know about that only later now so uh, this particular patenting which was a which was possible through IIT's um, you know IRCC they had their own invention invention disclosure form which helped us in uh, putting up uh, in paper what exactly is our idea and what exactly we want to uh, you know patent uh, actually the as you are saying mm -hmm. idea or like so in general if we look at the idea and the patentability mm -hmm. these are very far from each other mm -hmm. like uh, for patenting we need to have one invention yeah uh, it's very uh, common that every invention comes from an innovative idea mm -hmm. It's a restriction to say that like mm -hmm. uh, a, uh, our idea is going to be patented and yeah. this thing. Yeah. Yeah. So That's actually it was your innovative work yeah. that comes from an yeah. idea. Yeah. In fact uh, that particular idea which I told, uh, I, he, in fact I had some uh, initial uh, data on uh, it can be done you know in a bigger way, in a commercial yeah. way but um, it was not a complete uh, work which okay like the previous patent yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, it it was kind of provisional that the uh, attorney office they wanted us to do pretty much amount of good work for it to reach the patent stage in a in a year's time okay and we are actually working towards that right now okay like in the so, first days uh, you have filed provisional application yeah, something and like after that, that yeah, six right. month or yeah. like that time yeah, yeah. you have filed that completely in a year yeah okay yeah. So that's what I was, you know, okay. uh, trying to complete there. So uh, this pretty much gave an idea how the Indian patent uh, procedure works and what we can do with it. Okay. So it was uh, really interesting, and we are still working on more uh, new works, novel ideas, which we will be patenting soon from the lab. Okay. So uh, in next question, I would like to ask you that uh, other than patents, mm -hmm. like trademarks, copyrights, mm -hmm. um, you are a science fellow, you mm -hmm. are doing research in science and technology. So do you have ever feel like the, you have to um, be 
uh, aware about these things trademarks copyrights mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. every day you you use so many softwares yeah. every day you use so many uh, instruments Mm-hmm. So I would like to ask your opinion on trademarks and copyrights. Yeah, uh, frankly, um, you know, we have heard the names, patents, trademarks and copyrights, but I don't know how, how much people know. Uh, intellectual pro- property rights, it is it is something like, you know, a right of an inter- intellect to protect uh, novel ideas in, in the person's field of interest. Uh, like the things you own, uh, you know, such as mobile, your own house or even a pen. Uh, you know, uh, you have the right to own your own idea, yeah. and how how you can do it is by through three ways. So as you said, it can be done either by patenting, or you can uh, f- you know you can copyright your uh, you idea. Know, idea. Uh, basically, there are three uh, things: patenting, trademarks, and copywriting. Yeah. The difference between these three is like a uh, patent is. Uh, you know, protecting your idea, basically. Pro- protecting your invention. Invention, basically, uh, you are right. And trademark is something, uh, mostly it is related with a name, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, which is, uh, you know, closely, um, um, you know, associated with a big, uh, you know, company yeah, okay. or uh, in, a, in a business. Or copywriting your own blogs or books or even your sketching. Okay. But basically, patent is something which is closely related to a researcher. Yeah, you know, yeah. a, a, a person who uh, experiments uh, something which will ultimately help the so society, mm-hmm. uh, you know, society's welfare. And um, in case of a researcher like me, patent yeah. is a buzzword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which is important because as a beginner in the field, uh, one may have hordes of new ideas, many ideas which will come. You know, when, when I started with my PhD, I, I had a lot of ideas. I went to my professor, I was like, no, I had this idea, that idea, but which will work? Uh-huh. That matters. Uh, ideas. Uh, you know, uh, is a boon to the mankind. They can think and they can have a lot of ideas, but which will actually practically work, yeah, yeah. which matters. And once it, uh, you know, it works, it need to be protected because uh, every man can think, but not everyone can think the same way. Yeah. And uh, you have to protect the way you think. Yeah, yeah. And that is important. Uh, but uh, only if you prove your idea, uh, it is patentable. Right. So once you have a proven idea, we can start the patenting process. Um, you know, uh, you can find an attorney office uh, through your institute after uh, you know filling up the invention disclosure form in case of IIT Bombay, and uh, you know you can patent. Uh, you can file the patent in the regional uh, patent office. And once the decision is uh, granted, uh, uh, you you have the credit. You have uh, you know. Uh, uh, the credit for the particular patent and you will be uh, uh, benefited in a lot of ways as a researcher mainly as a student if you have a patent uh, uh, you know a lot of career development uh, oriented uh, benefits will be there mm-hmm. uh, in case of India you you know there are many fellowships for PhD students to you know after PhD uh, fellowships are there which which asks for the students to have high impact factor journal publications but if they have very low impact factor journal publications sometimes they will ask uh, uh, along with that you will you let you have two uh, you know Indian patents or one US patents so like this these patents will help in their uh, career development which is very important for a PhD student uh, and uh, being in biological research uh, fellowships after PhD plays a vital role in getting uh, professorships later in the later stage so uh, I think uh, patenting in uh, in the in the earlier stage as a student is very important and uh, you know it will uh, help the students uh, you know research betterment uh, from your experience we would like to have your few words on the opinion of that intellectual property rights awareness is very important for students for researchers for scientists for inventors mm. um, uh, basically uh, uh, you know after uh, submitting the patent I was uh, busy with my own work uh, only after uh, you know you people contacted me again I refreshed my idea about intellectual property uh, IPR Aware World is doing a very uh, good job in you know in making students understand what exactly is IPR and introducing them to this particular uh, uh, genre of um, you know uh, intellectual property rights. So um, uh, through uh, IPR Aware World, uh, you know I came to know about this World Intellectual Property uh, Organization. 
uh, which which actually has a special course um, you know it is called DL101 uh, the course uh, you know uh, specializes in how exactly uh, you have to protect your ideas and uh, you know protect your uh, yeah. uh, uh, intellectual, you know, intellectual values. values not only in the terms of patents yeah. uh, you will be able to get information about trademarks copyrights mm -hmm. geographical indications industrial yeah. designs mm -hmm and that IP traditional knowledge mm. actually IPR is comprises of all these things mm. not only the patents mm -hmm. so that WIPO DL10 course is uh, freely available online mm -hmm. and these login and these things are very easy to access every person mm. in everywhere can access this course mm. so uh, thank you Mr. Mm. Asif Khan yeah.